Hello. Today, this evening, I'm gonna make a chaffle. I'm going to make a mushroom and Swiss, and this is just ground beef, mushroom, Swiss, and salt and pepper seasoning. I have a cup of mozzarella cheese. I think I'm gonna add a little, a little bit more in there. I have lupin flour. Lupin flour is made out of a bean. It is my preferred low carb, gluten free flour. It just, it works more like a flour. One tablespoon. It just, it has definitely a, a taste to it, but it acts more like wheat flour in cooking. And I am not a very big fan of almond flour or coconut flour for that matter. Xanthan gum. You can even get these at Walmart these days. You have to add this into the cheese before you add the egg because you want to get the xanthan gum and that tablespoon of, of uh, lupin flour mixed up real good before you add an egg in there. And this is a stuffler. It's like a, it's for a stuff waffle maker. So just one egg. You can use egg whites. Stir that up real good. Um, yeah, egg whites would give it a, like a little bit less eggy flavor. So it's, yeah, I mean, it basically it looks like egg and cheese. It stirred up good. And that's all that is to that. Need to just use a spoon. So I've been preheating the the stuffler waffle maker. It doesn't have to like totally, totally cover it. The batter is for the top and the bottom. Let me check my camera. Can you see that? I'll zoom, zoom in and go down. Okay. So now it's cheese, mushrooms, and ground beef in the middle. And then it's more of this on top. Some of the things that I've put into this batter before is tomato paste, some garlic. Um, you could put some seasoning in. But because this is just mushroom and Swiss, I'm just gonna do it this way. And then like, I'm gonna flip it over like you go, like you do a waffle. And we'll see how this goes. So this has been cooking for a while. Really, how long you let it cook is just, you know, how, what you want it to look like, how much you want that cheese to cook, you know, and you can just take a look at it. It's browning up pretty good. So, I think I'm done with it. And with this stuffler, 
you just take this like this, it's kind of heavy, and you, I'm going to flip it over so it's a little dark. And there you go. And you hear that crunch. And that's just a teaspoon of lupin flour, mozzarella cheese.